guys, so on Twitter today I asked what video you guys wanted to see first and all of you pretty much said the Sephora haul that I had to show you. And the cool thing is that quite a few of these products that I'm going to show you today are actually new released products. So um, they've either just been released by the company or they're a holiday exclusive type thing. So yeah, I'm really excited about those and also it's kind of going to be a first impressions video because a lot of the stuff I have actually been using so you kind of get it two in one. So I'm just going to shut up because my intros are always like five hours long and just show you what I have to show you. So this first thing I have to show you, I actually haven't used yet because I wanted to keep it fresh for you. Um, this is the Lorac Pro To Go palette. It came out sometime in the summer and I had to get my hands on it. I ordered it um, online. Side note, online ordering from Sephora to Canada really sucks. It took them seven days to even process my order to ship it out, but it is an online Sephora exclusive. So when you flip open the top here, you see it has six eyeshadows. It has four kind of neutral ones and then two highlighting shades. And these neutral shades are right up my alley. You have this gorgeous bronzy color here called Chai. And then you have three shimmer eyeshadows and three mattes. And then when you flip open the bottom of the palette, you have a matte bronzer, which is amazing because I don't like to use shimmery bronzer to contour anything with. And then you have two blushes. So you have a blue based pink and then you have a nice shimmery coral. This is a palette that I could actually see myself like if I was going on a little weekend vacation or something I would only need to take this because it's not very big you guys know I always wear my neutral shadows Lorac is kind of underrated in my opinion it doesn't get enough love but their products are really great quality awesome payoff awesome pigmentation and easy to blend they're like some of the best um, textured eyeshadows that I have tried the thing I got is this Sephora um, Disney for Sephora compact mirror this is the aerial version it's called the set the mood compact mirror and um, I don't think I've shown you but I actually have all the um, compact mirrors I'm kind of collecting all of the ones that Disney collaborates with Sephora on so I have the Cinderella mirror and I also have the Jasmine mirror so it was only right that I get these I think even if I don't use them all these are just so beautiful made they're amazing compact mirrors um, and so they're just great collectible items especially if you were a major Disney fan like I was and I guess I still am I also picked up another uh, beauty blender I talked about this in my last favorites video this is just the sponge that has changed my life that I use every single day that I do like my highlighted concealer um, underneath my eyes I thought it would be great to have another and then I also purchased to go along with it the blender cleanser solid basically you have to wash your beauty blender after every use and so I didn't I was just using baby shampoo but um, I read this is amazing for getting the stains out so this is what it looks like underneath it's just kind of this white um, soap in here it does come in a liquid form as well but I thought the solid was better for traveling and basically what you do is you wet your beauty blender sponge after you're done using it you rub it across the surface of this soap, which creates a nice little lather, and then you squeeze out your beauty blender and wash it as you normally would. And literally, you need the tiniest little bit of the soap, and it literally just cleanses your blender in two seconds. It's really easy, and I also have been using this to clean my makeup brushes every day. Um, not to do a deep clean, but obviously you know how you have to clean them off. This gets your white brushes, your goat hair brushes, super crisp and white again, and it takes out all the product of your duo fiber. It's amazing for brushes as well. Who knew? So on to the brand new products that were released. So I got two of these Stila Magnificent um, Metal Foil Finish Eyeshadows. Now, I always say every single video at some point, I'm a magpie. I love sparkle so when I read about these coming out like I literally went to the store the very next day and like swatched everything I know they're marketed as a cream eyeshadow but they're different to any cream eyeshadow I've ever tried they're very moldable and malleable feeling like you can push it in and it's squishy but they still have almost a flaky kind of texture to them as well the way I apply these is I take the eye primer I put a little drop on the pan and then I take a tiny little bit on my finger, pat it on my eye, leave it to dry slightly because the primer has a kind of sticky feel, and then I go in with the eyeshadow and pat it directly on. I don't bother like mixing a paste, like I really do not have time for that. The two colors that I have are Comics Copper, which is just a beautiful bronzy copper shade. It does have kind of orangey tones. Um, this one also does have slightly more chunky glitter to it as well. And then I also have it in vintage black gold, which is basically an antique gold color, and it is what I am wearing all on my eyelids today. 
day and this one is amazing. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with these products. Um, I did have four as I told you before. I also had Kitten and Metallic Merlot and I returned both of those yesterday because they did not work for me. For me, the ones that have a slightly drier texture, this one almost feels dry. It doesn't have that clay moldable moist feeling when I touch it and I think those ones work better than the ones that kind of feel a little more squishy and greasy under your eye because they end up kind of staying almost wet on your lid and so that does not help with the creasing. The Comics Copper shade is slightly prone to creasing but not like the two that I returned that literally left me with naked patches on my lid. Um, you can still work with it but I really don't think they're a must have for the price. I think the idea was great, I just think the execution was lacking so I'm really disappointed in them. So also Hourglass came out um, at the end of the summer with their Femme Nude Lip Stylos which are basically a whole collection of six nude lip crayons. And these were kind of expensive at $35 a piece but I did pick up three of them. The shades that I got, first of all I got this one here at number three. This one is a pale rose nude. It's kind of a more pinky nude shade. A little bit like YSL Rouge Volupt in number one. So I love this one and this is the one that I am wearing today with just a tiny bit of gloss over top of it. The next one I picked up is the next shade down and it is nude number four. This one is a more pink beige color. So whereas nude number three was a definite pinky nude, this one is more um, beige, more apparent on your lips, more fleshy, I would say, than uh, nude number three. Again, another great color to wear with smoky eyes, bronze eyes, you know, this one's kind of pretty universal. And the last one I picked up is nude number five, and this one is golden peach with luminosity. That's how the website describes it. And basically it is your peachy nude. It's kind of got still your pink tones in it, but it definitely has a peach base and there are slight golden shimmers through this one. So I think this is amazing for all of skin tones or tan skin tones. It looks fabulous with bronze smoky eyes. I just think this one is gorgeous and it is a slightly deeper color than the other two. So you're never going to look washed out with this one. Something I am really, really excited about is new for the holidays from Urban Decay. It is their face case. They have two, um, I guess, colors or variations of this palette, but this one is the Anarchy face case, and it is a Sephora exclusive. And so what this is, this is kind of similar to the Lorac Pro To Go palette in that um, it has pretty much everything you need to do a full face of makeup in here. So if I open the top, you'll see you have five eyeshadows on the top, and this, you'll notice, isn't my usual style of eyeshadows. They're not my usual shades, and I just thought this palette is gonna be perfect for the holiday season, for holiday parties, um, and for the winter basically because these shades are all really shimmery, they're cool toned, and they're also kind of icy shades. You also get the 24-7 um, pencil glide on eyeliner in the shade Perversion, which is their black is black, and then you get a super saturated lip color in a limited edition shade, especially for this palette in Scandal. And Scandal is a bright raspberry pink, cool toned raspberry pink with shimmer to it. And so I'm not sure if this is what I would personally choose to wear with the eyeshadow shades myself, but how I can envisage myself wearing this is dabbed really lightly onto the lips to give a light pink stain because full on, this is really pigmented. That's not all. If you close the top of the palette and then open the bottom section, and these are a little bit finicky to open, you kind of have to use your nails, which makes you practically chip your nail polish, which is annoying. You get two blush shades. You see the pencil on both levels. You get a kind of a mauvey pinky blush and then you get a bright blue base pink, super bright. And then you get a highlighter over here, which is a golden champagne tone, which I think is amazing. I think these blush colors pair perfectly with the eyeshadows. If you guys don't like glitter or shimmer eyeshadows, this palette is not gonna be for you. I would go with the other one. A few of the eyeshadows, I think two of them have actual glitter particles, so they will be more prone to fall out because they are really soft textures as well. So for holiday season and holiday parties in the winter, this is gonna kind of be my go-to glam look. I'll try and wear it in a video to show you how everything looks. I also got a YSL Rouge Volupt lipstick in the shade number 12 Forbidden Burgundy. This one here is just a burgundy plum shade, your signature gorgeous Rouge Volupt packaging. Rouge Volupts are very buttery, very creamy, so I would probably definitely have to wear this one with a lip liner, but this color is amazing. It's 
it's universally flattering. It's not the darkest, most vampy berry color, but it definitely does have the burgundy plum undertones, and it has a slight glossy finish. Um, Rouge for Loves tend to be really glossy, but I would say this one leans more to a satin. I have been getting requests also for a YSL lipstick collection because I have quite a few, and I post on Instagram and I got a ton of likes, so I will be doing my YSL lipstick collection and swatches as my next video. I want to say also thank you for everyone that recommended dark lipsticks to me on my last video. I do have three more to show that I actually got from MAC, but that's going to be in a separate haul video sometime in the next week or two. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have to show you. I really think a lot of the things, like the two palettes I showed you, would make great gifts. Thank you guys for getting in all your questions to me regarding the weight loss video. I am going to do that video. I know I've mentioned it quite a lot now. It will be filmed um, in the next week or two. It'll be up on my channel. So thank you for giving me your feedback. I have literally written down all your questions. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.